Sponsored in part by Four Wheel Campers. Freedom on four wheels. I'm gonna show you how I upgraded my four wheel camper bed here to be 12 volt heated on just a little bit over three amps. It heats up to body temperature, deals with condensation issues at night, and provides a source of radiant heat in your camper interior. The best part about it, it's only 20 bucks. <music> Project M on Big Red K10. Again, it's an eight foot camper. Actually, with it popped up though, here we are at the back wall. All the way to the front there, that's actually 12 foot. And I have a king size bed here. It's about six foot this way. I think about 78 inches that way. And I purchased the cushions from Foil Camper. So it's these black cushions. There's a big one here and then there's four of them that fit on the back half. I only have two in currently, so that's why the corners are dipping down over there. And then here's the other two. I'm still working on getting my bed situation worked out. So I have just a sheet set on here currently that I'm trying out as well as underneath, I purchased a memory foam topper, inch and a half. Copper, it's supposed to be antimicrobial. Not only does this add cushion, it also adds breathability. Whereas you sweat on this surface because it doesn't breathe. Now you get some air circulating underneath you in your bed with this. Now the secret to my heated bed is actually very simple. You can find it on Amazon, other places as well. It's basically just a 12 volt heated blanket here. Three feet wide and maybe five foot long. And they have a couple different sizes, but this is a smaller one. On low, it draws about a little over three amps, maybe three and a quarter amps. So I just sandwich it between my sheets here, turn it on, it warms up to like 90, 95 degrees when sandwiched in the blankets here. It has this nice rigid attachment here so the cord won't pull out easily. You can see the switch here. I just have it routed here for now. I'll come up with a better solution later. But here's my 12 volt port. I have a splitter in here. So one's going to my fridge, which is sitting outside the truck right now. And the other splitter to the heater here. Here's my energy meter here on the Project M power station. You can see I'm pulling about three and a quarter amps right now. The one drawback is that you can't machine wash these. So that it's not gonna work very well camping. This thing gets dirty, it's just gonna turn into a dirt rag, dust rag. You don't want that in your camper. So what I'm gonna try and end up doing is finding some sort of bag that I can contain in. This is actually like a allergy, waterproof allergy case for a pillow from Allery's. So it's a little too small. I'd have to fold up the blanket and put it in here. I want the blanket to be dispersed like it is now in the bed. So I'm gonna find something bigger. But I wanna seal it in something like this. That way it'll be protected from dirt and water and uh, it'll last a lot longer that way and stay clean. Now with the memory foam mattress underneath, this is breathable. Any condensation can evaporate out this heat. Crack your vent up there the heated vapor goes right out. It's really nice. And I can just leave this on in the morning for a bit and it just really makes sure the bed is ultra dry. It's the temperature on the wall. You know, 57, it's looking like. But let's check the bed here. 5860. So let's click this bed on now. 
One thing I notice about this heating blanket in here is that it seems as if it, when it reaches a certain temperature, it has a sensor in it and it shuts off because I don't see the power draw right now. Just the lights are drawing power, but then I'll see it turn back on. So it must have some sort of temperature regulation in it so it just doesn't keep heating up, which is pretty cool. Fold this back now after an hour and see what the temperature is like underneath. Oh yeah. Very warm. This is a great way to conserve fuel if you have a heater in your camper by localizing heat to your bed at night instead of heating the entire cabin interior.